Fascinating stuff, and Frank Lance uh, joins me now to discuss. Uh, you said it there. Um, this is a this is something of a damning portrait of a presidential candidate, and yet it's not something that the Hillary Clinton campaign can necessarily take away a a as a victory. What stroke you uh, about the time you spent? There are two Donald Trumps. There really are. There's the Donald Trump that talks about being bigger and bolder getting America away from the lobbyists, the lawyers, and the special interests, the Trump that's going to challenge the establishment. We showed them a number of clips. And every time that Trump talked about taking them on, not holding back, not being politically correct, not only were they nodding their heads and turning their dials way up, but it made them want to vote for him mm -hmm. again. And then I showed them the attack on the uh, Khan family. And the, we're seeing that right, I, I believe we're seeing that right here. Th that attack, it just crushed it. We showed him when he was attacking Obama, claiming that he started ISIS mm -hmm. and Hillary Clinton as being number two, or, or Obama being the MVP of ISIS. And they hated that. Every time that Trump issues a personal con condemnation, they can't stand it, and it's why they don't want to vote for him. Every time he's talking about America writ large, they can't wait for him to get elected. But, and you say two Donald Trumps, but it, it, isn't it a sense, perhaps, that it's just two sides of the same yes. person? He, he's run on his unpredictability, but unpredictable responses can also be seen as childish, erratic, reckless, which is what And not hearing. presidential. And it's the same, and that was another thing, you know, roughly 20 to 24 of them raised their hand uh, that they had leaned to him at one point. But it seems to now be a referendum on just how presidential he can be. But that was exactly why people liked him to begin with. But that's why Republicans liked him to begin with. What no one is pointing, and this is something that I do not understand why the media doesn't talk about, is it was a different electorate. When you are running among Republicans, it's just Republicans mm -hmm. and Republican-leaning independents. Now it's the whole country. Yeah. And there's a segment of, of America that didn't like what he was doing but couldn't vote against him because they weren't Republican. Well, it's a different election now, which requires a different style, a different yep. presentation. And it's no longer about what you like. It is now head-to-head, -head, mano a mano. And that is his greatest opportunity and his greatest deficit. Hillary Clinton is the weakest Democrat nominee in modern times, even weaker than Jimmy Carter. I know you say since Walter Mondale. Since yes. The most beatable Democrat. And, it, and, yeah, and that's why he's still in the game. And yet, anyone else who would have said what Donald Trump has said would be out of this race months ago. Mm -hmm. It is, it's the best of times, it's the worst of times, and this guy can actually still do it. That's what I learned from the session. He has the capability. But do not let him say the polls are rigged. Do not let him say that the media is bringing him down. Do not let him blame anybody else. If Donald Trump loses, it's because of Donald Trump. Oh, and, and you said his, the, his biggest enemy is himself. We saw reporting that suggests he is considering a walk back of a cornerstone of his campaign, the, the employment of a deportation force to remove millions upon millions of undocumented illegal immigrants in, in this country. If he walks this back, I mean, that was the reddest meat he threw right. in the primary campaign. If he walks that back, what happens? Some of his own supporters will leave him. Others will give him another look. But, and this is. Is what, that the calculus? But, is that the math here? I don't believe it's the math here, and it shouldn't be the math here because that's not what is hurting him. What is hurting him is his personal insults. What is hurting him is when he gets angry, it's the temper. And what is helping him is his willingness to say things that nobody else will say. So here's the simple equation mm -hmm. if he maintains this refusal to be politically incorrect, and focuses on what's wrong with America, he may well be the next president. If he continues to be politically incorrect in, in delivering insults and attacks, as he did just hours ago against Joe Scarborough on another network, then he will not be president. It's that simple. Does he have the temperament? Does he have the policy? Does he have the plan? And can he follow through? That's what the American people are going to be deciding over the next 75 days. They're not sure yet. It's up to him to prove it. Okay, so in, interestingly, the, the way you posed questions, I mean, they were hypotheticals. And so people can entertain, and we watched the, the folks that you spoke to, entertain these hypotheticals. But a more nuanced reading of it might be, not that you were leading them to the hypothetical, but it, do you believe 
that they believe that that change is possible. Yes, you only saw four minutes of it, and I urge you, I encourage you, to show much more of what we did. Mm. I want viewers to see the dial responses. I want viewers to hear what these voters had to say. This was a three-hour conversation. What did they say about and, Hillary Clinton? And I mean, only if you can, if, if, in 30 <laughs> seconds or, or fewer. I'll do it in three. Yeah. Liar, dishonest. And so, and by the way, that's it. I did word or phrase. It was all liar and dishonest. And that's why Trump is still in the game. They have to decide between voting for someone who says stupid stuff and someone who does stupid, stupid stuff. They're trying to decide between someone who thinks she's above the law versus someone who doesn't really know the law. I mean, that's what's frustrating to people. Fascinating stuff. Uh, I wish we could talk about it for much longer. But Frank, uh, as always, appreciate your time here. Thanks for having me.